guy in shit. Uh, I'm also wearing sunglasses because sunglasses make me cool. Illuminati is a thing you need to watch out for They want to depopulate and save us so much more World domination, I'll get into that later I'm hardcore, fierce, and sexy You're just a hater, you deserve the ridicule Cause you're an absolute zero I'm the keeper of the chalice, a rock and roll hero I'm not an idiot nobody listens to Cause I'm not a failure in life like you Let's talk about the gates and the mark of the beast And the orgies in the streets at the Catholic feasts And Bill and Hillary's human trafficking ring And George Soros got the money to pay for everything Socialism is for losers, working for the devil, chumps that can't fight, they end on my level. It takes an evil one to try to debunk a doubter, so I'd rather die to stop talking about it. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out for the Illuminati! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out for the Illuminati! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out for the Illuminati! Watch out for the Illuminati! Cruising in the back of a Honda. Uh, they're not bad cars these days. They've improved a lot since 1980. Uh, it's now 2024, and they've improved a lot since, I would say, by the late 90s. Hondas started getting good. Anyway, uh, we're passing by some pomegranate uh, store, and. Uh, it's a nice little supermarket for people who like organic food and stuff, but uh, we're not here to talk about that. Uh, if you notice, my uh, rap songs have been far and few between. Haven't had an album put together in a while. Uh, that's because, in case you haven't noticed, I've traded in my rap primarily for activism. I am, I've uh, went from being a rapper to a political activist and uh, going out there and being active all day, every day. I don't take uh, videos of myself doing this, but because uh, you know, I'm a humble guy and shit. Uh, I'm also wearing sunglasses because sunglasses make me cool. And so, basically, I'm being, you know, a combination Brooklyn tough guy and political activist. Because you could be both at the same time if you're standing up for the right cause, for things that are moral. And, uh, and when you're not being a wuss, just bitching about stuff all day. Don't be a wuss bitching about stuff all day. Get out there and be active. Don't be a clown. Uh, don't vote for clowns. You know, vote for vote for decent moral people. Like we know who I'm voting for by the hat. So uh, you know, I'm not voting for fucking clowns. You know, I'm not voting for uh, neocon Nikki or uh, senile Joe. And uh, you know, that's all there is to it. And you see, the Democrats fucked up. They had a chance to hoist up uh, Bobby Kennedy Jr. And they fucked up. So Bobby Kennedy Jr. left. So he's probably going to split the Democratic Party. Uh, Nikki Haley, she might get so frustrated that Trump's whooping her ass in the polls that she'll leave the party and she'll form like a fourth uh, party. And, and so... You'll have, and that will also split the Democratic Party. But uh, this is just my theory. I don't think she'll go out quietly, but uh, she'll have no effect on Trump voters. These people who are, who are supposedly never Trumpers, they're, they're like a, a fringe group. They're like a fringe group of psychos that are probably worse than Democrats because they just don't see the light. They, they'll, they'll actually have the goal to call themselves moral. And then be like, well, I'm a Republican, but I'm not down with the circus that Donald Trump brings. Get the f get out of here with that shit. Just get out of here with that. And so this is what you have. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a 
tough guy and a political activist. And I'm, I'm ready to take the punches if, if punches come my way. I'm ready to get beat down if, if a beat down is uh, what's prescribed to me. But uh, I'm gonna come back fighting if that should ever happen. You know, you know, people are not gonna, people are not going to whoop my ass and keep me down. Look at that steakhouse and bar. I'm, if that place is actually open, I'm gonna go in there by myself, dress, dress like this, and order me a steak. I'll probably, probably have to take the hat off to be all gentlemanly and stuff. Yes, look at that. Look at that. Uh, not bad for a guy in his mid fifties. Yeah, huh? Not bad. Uh, uh, I used to be against dying hair, but uh, because of what you see there, I may dye that black like Ronald Reagan, because Ronald Reagan uh, was is the only president in my lifetime that was actually better than Donald Trump. Uh, but. Uh, Either way, with or without gray hairs, with or without black hairs, whether whether I wear this uh, cap or not, I'm gonna go for that a steak in this restaurant right here. That's a beautiful restaurant. I, I like I like the outside there. I like the fact that it's a steakhouse right in front there. I don't even know the name of the steakhouse. It just says steakhouse. Oh, it's Atlas. Uh, kind of reminds me of myself now because you know I bear the I bear the uh, earth on my shoulders. I carry the freaking um, the burden of the earth of the world on my shoulders. And I used to when I worked at McDonald's, I used to call myself Atlas Krantz. I used to call myself Atlas Krantz because. You know, I was literally like Atlas, carrying the burden of uh, the world on my shoulders. At least the world of Ronald McDonald. But uh, you know, it's a good thing that I, good thing that I left uh, McDonald's and went for a career in auto mechanics. And then from there, I had a small, very small nine-year stint with uh, Metropolitan Transit Authority as a station agent in New York and uh, that afforded me my uh, my burst in my rap career so uh, so um, I was juggling both actually and uh, my rap music was so good that it crossed over into industrial and it got a lot of the uh, industrial artists the local industrial artists um, some of them were welcoming some of them were very scared of competition and I wasn't trying to compete with anybody I was just trying to get my little piece of the market share which uh, I had a pretty big market share pretty big uh, market share of not just uh, money but influence and to this day I could walk into the scene and be the influential being I was back then just walk right in and people be like hey too tall it's too tall so glad to see you but uh you know there's there's a bigger fight to fight than than the career of mc too tall and uh that's why i, I use my government name now which is john a Krantz, and uh, i let people know who i am where to find me and uh who i'm rooting for for this coming presidential election and uh, there's no uh, there's no other choice out there. The one clear choice, the one clear obvious choice for the sake of humanity, for the sake of civilization, for the sake of keeping any everything sane in this world, not just this country, but this entire world, is having that leader of the free world be Donald Trump come November 5th and uh, yeah the people opposed to Donald Trump are just pure evil they're just straight up evil we're talking about people that that released those um, 
there's people that were in the country illegally. So they broke. So they broke one law coming into the country without pro without due process, and then they they freaking uh, beat up a cop. They beat up two. They beat up a cop and his uh, his commanding officer. So that's two cops they beat up, and and then uh, Alvin Bragg. Alvin Bragg, the same the same scumbag that's going after Donald Trump, releases this dirty scumbag that's flipping the bird up as the cameras going, no speak English, no speak English, uh, you know, and I happen to know a little bit of Spanish, and if I was there, I would spit in the guy's face and, and would have called him, uh, uh, or would have called him a big pile of uh, mielda, I would have called him a yula gambuta, and I would have spit right in the guy's face and beat the shit out of him right on camera, and I probably would have had to do hard time for doing that. But it would have so been worth it. It would have made a statement, and uh, you know, it, they would have been. It would have been known that the, that uh, people that beat up cops are not welcome visitors in in these here um, United States, where I belong more than they do because they didn't process their paperwork properly, uh, and uh, my grandparents did when they came here. People who were born here have have should have more of um by some people that just cross over and don't uh tell anybody they just oh i'm here i'm gonna work now i'm gonna make money and send it home <laughs> who do you think you are and and they don't even do that they don't even do that they're not even working this wave of this wave of people they're not even take they're not even taking jobs they're not even putting in work they're just beating up cops and flipping the, the bird at the cameras because they're released by Alvin Bragg, who are, who are they, and who is supposed to be protecting the cops, but instead he releases these anim these uh, animals, these piles of shit. And uh, I wish, I wish somebody could just, you know, do to them what they did to those poor cops and it would be totally fair. It would be totally, totally fair. But, um, you know, uh, see, people like that wouldn't confront somebody like me. They're scared of me, okay? They are scared of me. I'm a high flying, high kicking martial artist and I don't take no shit from from no uh anti trumper and uh that says uh al qaeda in arabic so uh, yeah this is a this is an al qaeda this is an al an official al qaeda car parked over here and nice huh real cute and this is what uh, this is what's going on in this country, and and I believe that with Donald Trump being elected president, all this is going to stop. And uh, you've seen me with my whip before. I'm going to start having to carry my whip while wearing this hat. Every time I wear this hat, I'm going to also carry a whip to signify that uh, there'll be lashings for the enemy. And believe you me, we have enemies within our country, and uh, they need to get their lashings. Or they need to get their lashings. They need. They they need to be whipped like the donkeys. They are donkeys. Isn't that the animal symbol for the Democratic Party? Yep. Whip the donkey, baby. Whip the donkey. That's. That's how you get these stubborn animals to uh, move in your favor. And uh, if they don't, you just whip them again. And that's all there is to it. That is all there is to it. Uh, okay, be cool now. Uh, respect God like I do. As I've shown in this video, throughout this video, I've shown that I respect God. So, respect God. Watch out for the Illuminati. 
always, always, always follow and share my content because it is oh so great. Stay strong and keep kicking that slang.